Hello, I'm Chris, and today we're going to venture out and find some meeting traffic situations. You can expect to meet oncoming road users on tight roads with parked cars, tunnels, bridges, traffic calming measures, and when there's roadworks. As a general rule, when the obstruction is on your side, then you would have to give way to oncoming vehicles, and when the obstruction is on their side, then you would have priority. Obstructions on both sides, then no one has, and this is where it gets interesting. In these situations, it's all about anticipating and reading the other road user. It's also seeing who wants to control the situation. If they're slowing down and moving over, then they probably want you to go through. If they're not slowing down and driving in the middle of the road, then they'll want you to wait. But don't stop too close to a parked car or it'll be hard to get back out. Stopping too close to the curb, and it'll also be hard to move out, and road users behind will think you've parked. Always think how you're gonna get back out of the space. As usual, it's all about planning ahead. Use your mirrors as you move in and out of the spaces, as there could be someone next to you, such as a cyclist. We're now going to have a look at some examples of meeting traffic. So I'm checking my mirrors to the left here for this oncoming car. I've slowed right down as I've got quite close to the parked cars. If you get closer than the door's width from the parked cars, then make sure you slow down. I see some signs warning me of some road narrowing and speed humps. This blue sign shows me that I've got priority, but I still need to be careful. Planning ahead all the time. Another danger of these roads is children running out in between parked cars. The oncoming cars are slowing down, one is parking, the other one's waiting. Get through. More road signs warning me of children, road narrowing and speed humps. The sign says that I have priority, just need to slow down for this white car. No one's got priority now as there's parked cars on both sides. Looking out for any passing places. Space on the left here that I could use if needed. The signs are warning me of children and a double bend. Keeping left, trying to get a better view. Got a parked car here. Need to be looking around the bend to see if there's anyone coming. Looks all clear. And now I'm keeping left. Always ready for the worst. Could be a bus coming. looking ahead, trying to look round the corner, expecting the worst at all times. Still parked cars on both sides. I have a space on the left that I could use if needed. See oncoming traffic, I can move into this space, I'm checking my mirrors for any cyclists. I've only moved half in because I want to be able to see round this parked car. I don't want to get stuck. I've left enough room for me to manoeuvre out, so I've checked my mirrors and come back out. If I stopped too close to that parked car, then I would have had real problems. I would have had to steer a lot to get out of that space. Planning ahead, parked cars on both sides. Bus ahead. Luckily he's not coming towards me. A sign warning me of a double bend. Keeping left, trying to look round the corner. Don't want to cut this corner at all. Could be a lorry coming. Park car here, I've got a right of way, but I need to be really careful. Maybe the oncoming vehicles haven't seen me. Check my mirrors as I move over to the left. Check my mirrors to come back out again. Sign is warning me of road narrowing and a speed hump. They're waiting, that's nice of them. Children. Ready for any car doors to open. This sign is showing me that I have to give way to oncoming. There's a yellow box, so I need to be careful not to stop in that. There's a playground on the right, so I need to be aware of children. 
looking round the front of the bus for anyone crossing the road. People near the van having a chat. Planning ahead, I can see more parked cars. There's an oncoming vehicle, so I'm slowing down, but they've moved out of my way. They want me to go through. The signs are warning me that the road is going to narrow and I'll have to give way. I'm slowing down, ready for oncoming, but it looks all clear, so I'll go through. It's getting a bit more crowded with parked cars. It's an oncoming vehicle, but it looks wide enough, so I'm just going to slow down a little. Get away from parked cars again. A right, large vehicle approaching. I'm slowing down again as I get close to parked cars. I'll be taking the next road on the left. I don't know what's in this road, so I'll expect the worst. Maybe there's parked cars. There is. Just wait for them to move up a little. vehicle. I have a space on the left that I could use but he's flashing his lights which doesn't mean it's safe but I can see that they've stopped. He stopped next to that space for me to go into so I check my mirrors. There's another car. And they're waiting as well. Of course the flashing of headlights is supposed to be a warning of their presence. He could have been flashing me or somebody else but I could see he was stopped and it was safe so I went through. So I'm back on this road again. Don't want to overtake the cyclist just yet. Planning ahead. The sign is showing me that I have to give way to oncoming. There's a yellow box. So I'm going to wait here for the bus, making a bit of space. to come out. All safe. Another tight road. Planning ahead. Ready for an oncoming vehicle. I stop next to this space. They can then move in and then I can carry on. Using reflections in parked vehicles can help me see round the corner a little as well. Expecting the worst. cars on both sides. No one's got right of way but I can see them moving over and slowing down. Making eye contact with other drivers can help you determine who's going to wait and who's going to go. Taking the next road on the left. It's hard to see round the corner so as usual being careful. Ready for oncoming park cars into a 20 zone it's oncoming so I'm going to wait ready to go again All right, they want me to go through as they're pulling over the sign is showing me that oncoming have right of way no one there going through this traffic calming measure slowly and carefully person with the door open The oncoming car is flashing their lights. Again, it might not be for me, but I can see they've stopped and it's safe. It's trying to anticipate what the other road user is going to do. And here I've got giveaway lines. The sign is showing me that I have to give way to oncoming, but it looks all clear. But now no one's got right of way. There's obstructions on both sides. The main thing with driving is being ready for the unexpected. Don't let anything surprise you at all. You never know what's around the next bend. Very hard to see around the bend. Ready for oncoming. Just being really careful here. Vehicle waiting for me. It's nice of them safe to carry on, using my mirrors as I go in and out of the spaces. It's good to know who's around you at all times. 
parked cars on both sides, no one's got right of way. See an oncoming car, they're aiming for the middle of the road, so I'm going to make some space for them. Another vehicle, but I have another space, check my mirrors. I don't want to get stuck, so I don't want to get too close to this parked car. Leaving enough room to get out, they're letting me through. As usual, don't be surprised by oncoming vehicles. I'm looking out for spaces, I don't want to get stuck. It's not just about diving into the space though and driving this slow, a cyclist could catch us up. So keep up to date with your mirrors all the time. When travelling downhill, it's good to give priority to oncoming vehicles who are going uphill. The signs are warning me of a bridge and road narrowing. The blue sign is showing that I have priority, but oncoming cars might not be able to see me. I could use my horn as a warning here, but I can see the oncoming car is waiting, so I carry on. I'm also looking out for road users who are coming out of driveways or roads on the left or right who might not be able to see me come in because of the obstructions. This car is approaching in the middle of the road so I'm going to check my mirrors to the left, make some space, mirrors to come back out, manage to time it without having to stop. Planning ahead, another oncoming vehicle, they're going quite quickly so I'm going to check my mirrors, make some space and then wait for this other car. Before I go, again I'm going to check my mirrors to come out and off we go. I didn't need the signal to come out as my road position was a good enough signal and no one would benefit from an indication. Again checking mirrors to go in, don't have to stop, I can time this and check my mirrors to come back out. Didn't want to go in that space too much as it would be hard to get back out again. Here I'm going to try and time it. Let the car go into the space on the right and then I can carry on. This next vehicle is coming uphill, so I'm going to give way to them. Don't forget reflections can really help to see if anything's round the bend. Looking for lights, anything that can give you clues if there's anything coming. I'm back on this road again, taking my time, being ready for oncoming. Don't drive too fast or you could get yourself into trouble. Take your time trying to keep your car doors width away if you can. If you have to get closer to parked cars than the doors width, then make sure you slow down. This car has let me through, that's nice of them. This car flashed their lights, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's for me, so I still need to be careful as I check my mirrors to come in and my mirrors to then come back out. Well, that's the end of our video on meeting traffic. As usual, I really hope it's been useful. If it has, then please don't forget to subscribe for our latest videos. Stay safe out there and see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.